Hello, I'm Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And welcome to my Card Fold Friday. This is our Card Fold week. So next week will be a technique. So let me go through what I've done. I have pre-cut. We're going to do a Dutch door card. I have pre-cut um, some of my supplies. Not everything, but I pre-cutted some of it. Um... So, uh, we're going to get started on this. I apologize. It's been a hectic morning. Anyway, I pulled out Sweetest Time. And there is not room to get all three on this. So, what I did was I stamped two of those here. And then what I did was I scotch taped down real close to the edge. And left this one part hanging over and then stamped it on. And then this is the set that it was right here. Okay. So that's what I used there. And then I used the, trying to get a hold of it, the framelit dies here for the lower half of this. And I'm going to have all the measurements on my site, but I will go through this as we go through this. But anyway, I used this die, and then I snipped off. Okay, then for the greeting, Christmas cheer, it came perfectly plaid. And again, I did more scotch taping, taped this across on the, on the piece, and then stamped the Christmas cheer, and then you take the tape off, and then you end up with the Christmas cheer, and not the rest of it. So that's what I did. The paper I used is from Tis the Season, and it's this paper here. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I used, I'm using Real Red and Old Olive is what I'm using on this. So I'm going to lay this piece aside. You're going to find out what it looks like in a minute as we go. So we're going to take the base, which is three and a half. And it will come out to our standard size card when we get done. We just have to allow space. Okay, so we're going to go three and a half. I'm going to want part of that in a minute. And I'm going to want it at eight and a half. And this is what I call my base. Okay. Oops. Sorry. There we go. Get the right blade in here. Okay. And so that is your base on that. And then we're going to cut a strip for it next. And I wanted to grab my ruler for you guys. And then I, whoops, I just knocked the camera. I apologize. Um, I went down three and three fours. Let me make sure. Two, three inches is where I scored it at. Okay, so I'm going to score at three inches. And then that's going to come down like this. So now I want to make sure I'm in camera range. Okay, so then this is three and a half across. And this is eight and a half down. And then I scored at three. Okay. All right, so now our next move is we need a strip. And it is three inches. I'm going to lay that up there by eight and a half. Okay. Got to make sure I'm in my eight and a half spot. Okay. There goes that. Okay. And then this is the strip that goes around the bottom. Okay. So let me show you this. Now, did I do that right? Did I do? Yep, I did three. Okay. Strip around. Okay, and then we are going to score it at two inches. And another two inches. 
So both ends get scored at two inches, here and here, okay? And then what's going to happen, and I want to make sure you're seeing this, yep, is it's going to go down like this. Mm -hmm. If I measured correctly, I'm sorry, guys. Did I measure right? Mm -hmm. Double checking. No, two and a, two and a fourth. I'll have the correct measurements on the site. Okay, so I'm going to correct myself. This is going to be a little bit more messy, but I am running low on red right now. Two and a fourth. So I'm going to move it down just a tad. Okay. And then the other end is two and a fourth. I'm sorry. I wrote it wrong. Okay. There we go. Now it should come closer together. There we go. So now those parts will come together like that. All right, and then, let me get this out of the way. I have my pieces here, if I didn't lose them again. Do you realize I've lost them twice? They're right here. Okay, so now what you're going to do, is, At two inches, I'm going to bring my cutter back up. At two inches, you're going to cut, because that's two and a fourth, and it is, okay, two and a half. I've got all of my measurements over there on a sheet. Okay, now I'll bring that down. So, and that just comes just a little wider, than, a little narrower than I want, a little wider than I want, I should say. Okay, so what I'm going to do I want you to see this. It is just a little too wide at the two inch, but you don't want it two and uh, you don't want it one and three fourths. So what you want to do is just kind of put it down in the groove with a little hangover and just take it off just a smidge, and that should work. And if you want it a little longer, I wanted the red to show a little bit more. So if you want the red to show a longer, you can do that. So I need it just a tad shorter than the two inch. So I'm going to say probably one and seven eighths, but I'm going to call it two. And you can cut it down as you want. So now I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to put this on and if you want it a little longer, you can do it a little longer, but I wanted the red to show a lot more. Okay, okay, so there you've got that. Now what you're going to do, I want to make sure you're seeing, you are going to adhere only from here down. So what I'm going to do is, and you can mark it with a pencil if you want. I'm just doing a strip. There we go. And 
And there is a wonderful little eraser, and it's in my room, that will take extra of this off, the glue, the adhesive. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it, but you can get it at the craft stores, and I have mine, and I like it. All right, so then our next move is to do it down only so far down. So I'm only going to do it on this part of it, okay, so that part of it is showing. Okay, and I did it all the way across, so I'm going to have to get my eraser thing again. I'm just rolling it with my hand right now. There. Okay. So now you have that, and you have the Dutch door. So then for the inside, and I don't know if I have a piece of paper, you will cut a piece of paper that will... Yeah, I may have. That is about four inches. <sighs> By about five and a fourth. Okay. Okay. Do that right. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong, guys. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay. Silly me. I've got a business call coming in, and I'm a little concerned I'm going to be. Okay. This part is here. This part goes up. Now I got everything sticking. Do you ever have a day where nothing goes perfect? There we go. And now I have it upside down, obviously. There we go. Now, I taped it on the wrong side. I, what I did was I taped it on the bottom. Tape it up on this. Now let me bring this up. So, your piece is like this. And you're going to tape it on the flap that comes down, okay? And you're going to tape the top half, not the bottom half like I did, okay? Not the bottom half like I did. Okay, so it's going to go on the top half, not the bottom half. Okay, this is going to be my dummy card, so that will work fine. And then you've got it here. And then I had the paper, which needs to go narrower. So I'm going to cut it down a little. And as I said, your measurements are going to be all on the site. All right, now let's see if I've got it right. Okay, I want it down just a little more. I'm not even looking at my measurements, guys. Okay. There. Now, it'll go on like this. Your card will come down like this. And you'll have your Dutch door. Okay? So, you'll have your Dutch door and you'll have your card... If I can get this, I didn't even glue it down. You'll have your card come down like this. And you'll have your Dutch door. So, there's your Dutch door card. It's really kind of a concept card. I apologize for kind of messing it up today. But, that's the way it goes when you are thinking you're going to have a phone call in the middle of this. And that's what I was a little bit concerned about. Alright, this is Pamela the Stamping Pink Rose. I hope this gave you another idea how to create a card. I apologize for all my little mess up. I just was reversing it and everything else. And I'll tell you truthfully, I'm not seeing the world's best. I have an eye infection. And so it's making a little difference to me on seeing lines. All right. Take care. I've got any questions. Don't forget to email me at Pamela at Stampin' Pink Rose. 
um, check out my blog there. You will find the complete measurements for it. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because right now the 12 weeks of Christmas has started as of last Wednesday. You already missed one of them. But you'll get card ideas every Wednesday for the next now 11 weeks. And the first uh, four or five weeks, I believe, are cards. And then we start into projects and then into tags. And you'll be all ready for the holidays because you'll have some beautiful projects. Take care. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.